almost thought I was going to go home without finding a crab. And I think I just managed to get one. Hey everyone, this is the day after I found that rock with that round hole in it. I've spoken to a few people, one of them being an archaeologist, and I think it's been worked. On my way there, see if I can get it, get back home before the tide comes in anymore. Moment of truth. Let's see if it's still here. Yep, there it is. <laughs> I didn't think anyone would have been here. <laughs> you never know. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> still looks man made to me. Sometimes the next day, things don't look as cool. This one you can see really looks like it's been shaped. I was just walking past this rock and this little thing stood out to me. I'm not sure what it is, but it vaguely reminds me of an ear, ear bone. It's probably just a coral or something, but it's worth taking a photo of, I think. These rocks are always super interesting. I'm hoping one day there's going to be a big tooth in here. small bones part of the skull yeah strange see there's little bones everywhere I'm walking over a bit of the exposed cliff and look at these flabellum corals very cool looking there's another one over there. Now all I need is a shark tooth sticking out. Those are pretty cool. That's Christchurch on the other side of the bay. The sunlight's reflecting off some windows over there. That's the northern arch. These clouds form usually when there's a nor'wester, which is a warm wind. Not fossil crabs, but <laughs> pretty cool to see so many of them. Well, <laughs> I almost thought I was going to go home without finding a crab. But I think I just managed to get one. And to me, this doesn't look like the normal species. This looks like that Actinotocarcinus one. Just because of that spike coming off the top, it just reminds me more of the spider crabs than the tumidocarcinus ones. There's only one way to find out and that's prepping it. This is looking really promising.
look at how much it's been washed away. And already I've found something that is the biggest tusk shell I've ever found. Oh, it's a monster. <laughs> Got high hopes for finding a bit of moa bone here. No moa bone yet, but have a look at this. Might just be a weirdly shaped rock. Strange. It's the only thing I found. Almost reminds me of petrified wood. No mobile. bone. I'm back home from my little midnight adventure. I got home just before midnight. Yeah, well, got the anchor back. What I hope is an anchor. I mean, it really looks like it's been worked on over there. I'm still in two minds. I've got in touch with an archaeologist. I'm going to go drop this off with them. And hopefully they can tell me more whether it's actually something that's been worked on. So a few people say it might be a net weight or it might actually have been something used for grinding. We'll have to wait and see what comes back from the archaeologist. Then pretty much back at the car I found this one and this just got me thinking. Something about it looked different. I don't think it's a Tumidocarcinus which is the crab that's mostly found there. Have a look at this crab which I found in an area about probably about 20 kilometers away. This is a Actinotocarcinus crab and if you turn it at an angle, it's got these spines going off it. I wonder if this could be a crab at an angle with that being the spine. I'm going to have to prep it and see what's inside there, but I'm hopeful that it could be the other species of this Actinotocarcinus. There's two of them. So I found this one which is found further north, and this could be the southern one, which would be really exciting. And then the mystery item. I think it's just a concretion that's been stained, perhaps by some iron. And inside there in the middle, it looks like a shell. I think that's a shell over there sticking out. It's definitely not the same material as the concretion, which would make sense because concretions normally have shells or other fossils inside them. Thanks everyone for joining me for that nighttime adventure. <laughs> it's good fun. I always enjoy those. Um, got the anchor back. I'm going to send it to an archaeologist and I'm really happy with this crab. I'll do a prep video of this as soon as I can. And thank you everyone that's been sending in photos for the slideshow. I really appreciate it. I really enjoy it seeing what everyone's finding. I'll see you on the next hunt. Hi everyone. So I've had a few questions just about what to do when you find an artifact. And I thought I'd just email the Ministry of Culture and Heritage. They got back to me really quickly. Thanks for that. They've given me a link which has got all the information you need to know. I've put it at the top of this page. It will also be in my description. So this is just for New Zealand. I don't know about other countries and how the laws work there. But all artifacts in New Zealand are protected by law. If you find something that you think is an artifact or is an artifact, just take it to your nearest public museum. They'll fill in all the forms and help you sort everything out. But there's a quick six step process to it. Basically, they give it a registration number and then try and find out who it belongs to. If no one claims it, they'll give it back to you um, or the museum might want it for a display piece. I'm taking this one to the Canterbury Museum and they'll sort that out for me.